Are you using email marketing for your children's museum effectively, following the best practices? That's what this video is about. I want to share with you some best practices and some tips to make sure that you're really reaching your membership and your community in the best way. Start where you are. In fact, I have 60 tips for growing your email list. If you want to get that, just reach out to me and I'll send it to you through email. The next thing I want to share with you is your strategy. How often are you going to email? What's going to be in that email? And when are you going to send that? Strategy is really important. So be sure that you're thinking about those um, pieces. Remember that less is more. You don't want to overwhelm people with way too much information. They're not going to read it if it looks like a really long email. Are you using surveys to reach out to your membership, your party parents who've had birthday parties at your children's museum, or teachers who have come on a field trip? It's a great way to get feedback on how you're doing. Use that feedback to train your staff to get better as a museum overall. When you send your email campaigns, did you know that you can share it on social media? You can actually, through constant contact, when you send your email, share it on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, helping you reach a crowd of people that are interested in your museum, but might not be on your email list. Think about your subject line. It's really important to get them to actually open the email. There's three pieces that will really help you do that. I call it the 222 principle. You have to capture their attention in the first two words, in the first two seconds that they're reading that email, and something in that subject line needs to compel them to open it and act today. Otherwise, your email is gonna fall in the later pile, which I call also never. Look at your statistics. How many people are opening your email and clicking on links? In your stats, you can also tell the best day of the week to send that email and the best time of day. So you can look at them and see how often people are opening the email and determine your uh, plan going forward for your next uh, campaign. If you are not using email marketing, I wanna encourage you to try it. Just text Kim to 99000 and you'll get a link back to start your free trial today.